Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take a look at this recovery tank and we're going to try and identify what type of refrigerant is in there. To do this we're going to use our temperature pressure test. We're going to take the vapor pressure as well as the temperature of the vapor space of the tank and then compare it to a temperature pressure chart to identify the refrigerant. Two things to note. One, this tank has been sitting in this room stabilized for 12 hours so that it can reach a, a stable temperature. And two, I've got the thermometer here taped to the vapor space of the tank. We should also note that on this particular tank, the red knob is the vapor or gas side. Check the picture. And not the blue. Normally we associate blue with low side or vapor and red with high side or liquid, but the red knob in this case is the the vapor side. So what I'm going to do is connect this digital gauge to the tank and I'll pull up a screen for us to see what the pressure is on the digital side here. I'm going to open the tank and then I'm going to open the valve here and we're going to look at the screen right there and we can see that the pressure inside is 142-143 psi and then I'm going to turn on our thermometer here so that we can all see and we're looking at a temperature of roughly about 78 or 79 degrees now we're going to look at a temperature pressure chart to see what refrigerant about 142 143 psi at 78 or 79 degrees we'll pull the chart up and look and it's really close to r22 now it should be noted that if it wasn't close to any of the refrigerants on the temperature pressure chart it's very likely that the refrigerant in this tank is mixed so again temperature pressure test temperature pressure chart comparison to see what refrigerant is in this tank. Based on our data, we can see that this is R22. This has been the Workbench series. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.